Chapter 1, Lesson 2, Powers and Exponents. A power are numbers using an exponent and base. Base is the common factor in a power. An exponent is the number of times the base is used as a factor. A product of repeated factors can be expressed as a power, that is, using an exponent and a base. So right here, we've got 2 written 4 times, multiplied it by itself 4 times. So the base is 2, and the exponent or power tells us how many times it's being used as a factor. The way we read exponents would be, for example, 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, 3 to the third power, 3 to the fourth power, and so on. However, if it's 3 to the second power, we can call it 3 squared. Or 3 to the third power, we can call it 3 cubed. Write each expression using exponents. So here I have negative 2 as a base, written 3 times. And then I have 3 as a base, written 4 times. In letter B, A is multiplied twice. B is multiplied three times. Letter C, I have one half written four times. Letter D, four to the third power, five to the second power. Letter E, evaluate the following expressions. So what I'm doing is saying negative two thirds times negative two-thirds times negative two-thirds times negative two-thirds. I'm writing out my base four times. Multiply the numerators, negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, which would be positive 16 all over. Three times three times three times three is 81. So 16 over 81. 4 to the 4th power is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. You can group them when you um, multiply them. So I can say 4 times 4 is 16. And then do 16 times 16, which at this point you may use a calculator. So it's 256. You can use a calculator as long as you show all of your work. Negative 2 to the 6, so the work I would show is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I would show it being multiplied 6 times. And then you can type in your calculator, negative 2 to the 6th power, which is positive 64. Fractions, it's sometimes easier just to do them by hand. One-fifth times one-fifth times one-fifth is one over one-twenty-five. The deck of a skateboard has an area of about two to the fifth times seven square inches. What is the area of the skateboard deck? So two is multiplied five times, then seven. So I can say 2 times 2 is 4, 4, 2, 7, then we've got 16 and 14, which is 224 inches squared is the area. A school basketball court has an area of 2 to the 3rd times 3 times 5 squared times 7 square feet. What is the area of the school basketball court? So I have 2 multiplied 3 times, 1, 3, 5 multiplied twice, and 1, 7. This one I know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 7 is 35. Multiply those three numbers together, and we get 4,000. 
200 square feet. Evaluate the expression if a equals 3 and b equals 5. All we're doing is plugging a, uh, 3 in for a, so 3 squared plus and 5 in for b. 3 squared is 3 times 3. 5 to the 4th is 5 multiplied 4 times. We've got 9 plus, well, 25 times 25. 9 plus 625, which would be 734. Evaluate the expression of a equals 3 and b equals 5. So 3 minus 5 squared. Do so what's in the parentheses first. So I have negative 2 squared, which is negative 2 times negative 2 which is positive 4. Number 9, evaluate the expression if c equals negative 4 and d equals 9. It's very important to put that negative 4 in parentheses. Whenever you have a negative number and you're raising it to a power, you want to make sure it's in parentheses. So this is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 plus 9 times 9 times 9. Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is a negative 64. 9 times 9 times 9 is a 729. So negative 64 plus 729 665. Letter N, evaluate the expression if C equals negative 4 and D equals 9. So negative 4 plus 9 to the third power. Do what's inside first. 5 to the third power, which is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125.